What's up guys? My name's Jack, I live in Nicaragua, and I'm here to tell you how you can reduce paper towel usage. First, you might think that you need to get rid of paper towels, but honestly, if you just do that and you're used to using them, you're probably just going to end up buying them again and continuing to use them. What you got to do is start using this kind of stuff. So this is a dirty one, and I'm showing you a dirty one because you got to make a system that's going to work, right? And you can't just get one rag. You're going to need like seven, one for each day if your kitchen actually gets used and stuff, right? So the key isn't to get rid of this because this is still useful if your cat shits in your bed. You know, you, you might want to use something more temporary than your rags for feces and blood and vomit and all that stuff. And also, if you just outright get rid of it, maybe then you're not going to end up actually following through, right? Now, there's a couple things you're going to need. First, you're going to need a place to put dirty rags. You're also going to need a place to put clean rags. And you're going to need a place, a home, for the current rag that is in use. For, so for us, it's usually right here next to this trash of all the organic trash stuff, right? You're also going to want some kind of rag that is specifically for, like, drying things or hands. And you don't use it for dirty stuff or wiping down counters or that kind of stuff. You use this kind of rag. And I encourage you to get these microfiber rags. They're awesome. Here, these are called trampas. But I just call them rags. This stuff is great. It's also super easy to clean, and that's what we're going to get to now, because these are going to get dirty, and you're going to be using them, and they're going to look like this. So what do we do next? Well, we got to clean it. Most homes here in Nicaragua have a lavadoria, which is like a sink, a concrete sink that you do laundry and stuff in, which is perfect for washing these kind of rags. This is our concrete sink right here, right? It's on the roof, which is kind of cool, and you can see, look at that, I just cleaned all the rags. Now these kind of rags are really easy to clean. Typically, you will soak them with just like some detergent and some water. Just regular laundry detergent, right? Boom, boom. It looks really intense and this one's stained a bit so the color's not gonna get away completely. But that's okay. All you gotta do is have some water. I'm gonna steal this because it's like detergent water. And you want it to be a little bit bubbly. We're going to steal more of the dirty detergent water. These are just cleaning rags, right? So they don't need to be as clean as clothes. You just want to saturate with water and the detergent. And then you just kind of rub it against these. I originally thought that these lavadoria stuff were for clothes, and you can use them on clothes, but they're kind of harsh on your clothes. You don't really want to do that. So then you just go back and forth like this, and you pour water over it. Do that a couple times and you just literally just keep going like that and then eventually actually boom you got clean rags now this is realistically the habit that's going to lead to you actually reducing the usage of paper towels if you think that you can just get rid of paper towels and that's going to work it's probably not going to you need to incorporate some kind of system of these kind of reusable rags to do the things that you normally use paper towels for and as long as you get a system down to keep these clean, which consists of having a home, you need three homes, right? You need a home for the clean rags, you need a home for the rag in use, and you need a home for the dirty rags. And that's basically it. As long as you do that system, you're good. All right, guys, thanks for watching. And as always, you're welcome to book time with me or talk to me completely for free. If you want to talk to me for free, look in the Calendly link below. I will record the conversation. We can talk about anything you want. If you want to ask about Nicaragua, what it's like here, that's cool. If you want to ask about dropshipping, that's cool too. Literally anything you want, we can talk about, okay? And if you don't like the idea of the call being recorded, that's okay. We can privatize the call. Costs $20 per 30 minutes. And then, again, same logic. We can talk about whatever you want. All right, guys, thanks for watching. See you next time. Ciao!